Thomas. Um, this first one was written on the Oxford tube on my way to London. It's called The Woman in Front of Me. <laughs> I'm on a bus. The woman in front of me looks like a cross between my old workmate Holly and a journalist called Laura I once met at a party. She was smaller than you'd expect a journalist to be. I remember thinking she was cute and I'd like to see her naked. <laughs> now I'm thinking I want to see this woman naked. I want to see her with her hair down, naked in my bedroom. Only it's not my bedroom I'm imagining because my bedroom is a small room in my mum's flat with a single bed. <laughs> Sometimes living with your mum can be frustrating. <laughs> Yes, people often ask me, Paul, oh, you're so charming and funny and sexy. Why are you single? It's because I'm 30 and I live with my mum. <laughs> but I used to have a girlfriend, and this is a poem about when I used to have a girlfriend. It's called Sex in the City. Sex in the city, sex in the city, sex in the sitting room. You looked well pretty. You looked well pretty. <laughs> you looked well pretty embarrassed when your housemate walked in on us. <laughs> sex in the city, sex in the city, sex in the city arms toilets <laughs> was not dignified as I looked up to find a hand reaching over the door with a camera in it. <laughs> Sex in the city, sex in the city, sex in the sitting born train station <laughs> was rather rude. <laughs> was rather rude. <laughs> was rather ruined by the station attendant who was watching us while punching his tickets. <laughs> sex in the city, sex in the city. Sex and the city is a fucking awful program. <laughs> but I don't complain. No, I don't complain. I don't complain too much when you make me watch it. Because it makes you horny and you thank me very much when it's finished. <laughs> my last poem is a poem about my childhood. It's called Potatoes. <laughs> I was part of a large family. We didn't have a lot of money, or much of anything else, in fact. But we did have a lot of potatoes, so we learned to make do. Mum and Dad made vodka and potato wine. For us, they made potato juice. And if we were very good, we had potato mousse. <laughs> they came up with many inventive ways for us to take our potatoes. We didn't have many toys. In place of dolls, the girls would carve faces in their potatoes and give them makeovers. They would then use them to perform plays as we didn't have a telly. <laughs> As boys, we were simpler. We would just push us along the ground, pretending they were cars. <laughs> in times of extreme frustration, we would draw nipples on our spots. <laughs> and masturbate. <laughs> Dinner times were always odd affairs. I don't know if any of you have ever had to eat your toys or your pornography, but it's a pretty strange feeling. Thank you. Yeah.